We got the quest to defeat Horde of Kurgia again. So yeah, the Horde of Kurgia was the big one that we had to take out. They still have the Horde of Jin, but that only has 781 units. And there's two more hordes that we got to kill for the quest as well. But I don't think they're nearly going to be as difficult. A thousand horse archers is quite a lot. So the Horde of Jin has 134 mounted berserkers and 57 emperor's guardian, which are the Zan Emperor himself's household troops. But it doesn't look like they have a shield, and I don't know if they have a horse. It appears they have zero in riding. The Black Warriors are also infantry as well, which we can pretty much solo with leaf bombs. The only thing that's going to be difficult to deal with is the mounted berserkers. Remus is running from the Horde of Jin. Don't run. I think we'll just not attack the Horde of Jin for now, and I think we'll just move on to Lubin. We'll come back for them when we get a bigger army amassed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven other people in total. They're really low to the ground and they don't have a lot of protection, so this should be kind of free. I didn't check how many units they have, but I believe it's like 1k. Since I disabled the damage, it's not bugging out anymore, but you can see how much XP I'm getting. I just killed four, six, seven, eight. My archers are kind of bugging out and they're not shooting. I guess we got to get closer. Well, these guys still aren't shooting. But all these guys over here are going to town. I can't put my flag over near the ladder on this side of the river. I have to cross it. Oh, this is so buggy. They want to go through the main gate. I can manually send them over the ladder though. And there's no way for them to get through the gate. What if I can bomb them through the gate? Oh, I just killed two. Another one. Just killed one there. Oh, I just killed four. If I aim at the ground, it will go through. But if I aim at the wall, it won't. I just killed three there with that bomb. Holy crap, I'm getting so many kills here. I just killed four with one bomb. I just killed five again with a bomb. Four with another bomb. Holy crap, there's so many on the other side of the wall here. I wonder if I get my leaf bomb throwers over here. I wonder if they'll throw through the wall. God. Oh, the master hurlers. Out of position for literally one second and they get killed. You don't have to do it. Yeah, well, I think I do. All right, we killed 188. We're going to back out. All right, they got reinforcements. They got a lot more here. All right, well, I'm running out of grenades, and this is a really slow siege. So we'll back out again. There's ladders over here on this side. This is actually probably a better way to attack. It's funny because we're actually in their castle, and they're so dumb because they have a rally point of where I was grenading earlier, and they're just sitting there, and we're just bowing them from behind. You're getting shot from behind, guys. Let's turn around. Well, we gained 44 renown, and that was kind of a mess. I only lost five. Or I always lost 79, but we took out 725. And we got some Elantorn units back. We got a knight. Crimson Ranger, High Elf Warden, and the Elantorn Morale is back to high. A Polearm, Helmet, and a lot of random stuff, but nothing too special. And this Elite Xan Mask looks kind of cool. It's got six less head armor than my helmet, but my helmet looks so stupid. I think I'll buy it and I'll give my helmet to a companion. That looks pretty stupid as well. It looks good on Shijin though, with his ninja armor, and it's better than the one he was using. He's looking like a Xan god. So in towns, I can recruit Elantorn High Elf Sentinels, which are the Elantorn Noble units. They upgrade into High Elf Wardens, which give eight spotting, five wound treatment, five first aid, and five surgery, which would be really useful to have. I just got to recruit a lot of them to get the bonus, and they do cost 1k each, but I have 300. 20k so every time i'm at one of my towns i'm just gonna start recruiting them so now we have leuven and i believe we just picked up three extra villages as well where all these elantorn units come from i just checked the garrison and there were none of these guys here three elantorn crimson rangers six noble maidens seven rangers i'm so confused 11 hyle sentinels those are 1k each i think that's because of our culture and that's really making me glad that we're not part of the arulo culture anymore so i'm not sure what we want to do with leuven as far as giving it to a vassal but i think we should probably move on to like Pamondot castle and lottier castle those should be pretty free yeah, Princess Lothandril defeated again. How many lords does the Hakan have? Why do they have that many lords? Oh, it looks like the Hakan got wiped out. The Realm of the Falcon just destroyed them. Army of enemies near Leuven. Ooh, here's the Zan Emperor. He's following Lord Tylan's party. I think we'll just let him engage Lord Tylan. We have 1195 against 322. Like, he just Sudoku'd himself. Three forest wardens? Ouch. Those are the top tier Geldar horse archers. I don't know how that happened, but we took out the Zan Emperor. Did we capture him? No, we got away. Here we go. Rusty plated Yoroi. That was from the Emperor's special troops. All right, boys. Well, we can keep going, I think. No, don't follow the spearhead, Tacos. No, we don't want to follow the spearhead, Taco. No. 
Now we gotta fight this whole spearhead. Alright boys, get in there. Oh my god, they're so clumped up. Wow, these units are actually really strong too. They're the special household troops, I think. We gotta get a lot of them with these grenades. Holy crap, they're shredding our infantry so hard. My god. Our infantry line just got absolutely decimated by them. Alright, well we're holding up pretty well. I've only lost three. This great wall of archers is proving to be pretty effective. And it's looking like they're sending in their bowmen now, which are looking like pretty crappy bowmen. Um, some infantry left, but these aren't the best, I believe. All right, well, we gained 56 renown. I only lost three. Our allies lost 43, but we took out 443 units. All right, well, we still got about 900 units strong, so we're just gonna head over to Payment Castle, And it's only got 416 units, so this should be pretty free. Defected to Legolas. Defected to Legolas. Oh, a bunch of them defected to me. Okay, we're gonna take Payment Castle, and then we're gonna go all the way back to Fort Iron and see who defected to us. I think the best way to attack this castle is just to put the bowmen up on this hill back here. Otherwise, like, they can't get any kind of angle on these units. But when they're all sitting back here, they're actually getting a lot of kills. When our leaf bombers are actually getting a bunch of kills, too. Oh, yeah. Alright, onwards over to Lydir Castle. Leuven has been besieged. Oh, we gotta go back for that. But I think we should take Ladder Castle first. This one's looking really easy. They got a huge gap in their walls that we can just chuck leaf bombs in. Rip. Look at all these hurlers just tossing in leaf bombs as well. We got a lot of hurlers in the field. This is kind of cool. And we got a bunch of Elentorn rescued prisoners. Like, they're literally all Elentorn. I don't know why they had all Elentorn prisoners in their castle. I just realized whenever we defer, it gives us a bunch of Elentorn units in the garrison. Five Hile of Sentinels. That's worth 5k. Before, when we were following the Arulu culture, it would give us like one or two Master Hurlers, and the rest of the units were just complete trash. I'm gonna head over to Pamandot and see if I can grab some Elentorn units from their garrison. Oh yeah, they have a bunch of them. I love having the Elentorn culture. So one thing I just realized is we don't have a blacksmith at Leuven and defending without a blacksmith means that units won't regenerate their arrows or leaf bombs and so when we're defending against like 1k units we're eventually going to run out of arrows and they're just going to overrun us and so we cannot defend Leuven against that attack so we're going to give Leuven to Silvabethio although maybe we should have given it to Bregadon that would have given us a lot more relation with him and we really need relation with him too but that put us up to 49 with Silvabethio so I think we're going to end the campaign and let everyone do what they want for a minute and we're going to tell Remus to head over to Lydir Castle we got 53k this week there's 96k at Four Iron's treasury and so we're going to head back to four and iron grab most of the 90k in their treasury and there should be a bunch of lords here holy crap there's a lot of lords here what the heck is going on archduke and Duiness. 915 renown and cunning duke narglad Ooh, we got 100 relation with him he's 749 renown good natured and he has prisno ranger knights as his household unit which are pretty strong horse archers nine power draw 400 archery you patiently listen to what duke narglad has to say and find this is very useful your charisma increases Ooh, he gave me either one or two charisma the princess is here i'd be honored to accept your pledge baby girl even though you did abandon me and you went to the Khan who had one fief left she's got 1279 renown we're giving her a castle even though her household units are not the best there's something i've been meaning to tell you your agility increases. Ooh, I wonder how she increased my agility. I wonder if I challenge her to a friendly duel if my agility would increase even more. What would it take to cement a lasting alliance with your house? Are you proposing that you and I marry? I don't know if I want to marry her because wouldn't she just sit in my castle? And then she'd start nagging me all the time. Sure, why not? Let's see what happens. My lord, you are a man of great spirit and bravery, possessed of strength, courage, and wit. I would be most honored were you to become my husband. I suppose the next step would be for me to send a message to your family asking for their permission to marry you. But I suppose that you make your own decisions you assume correctly very well then as there are no obstacles to our marriage should we then consider ourselves engaged to be wed i will organize a great feast and we can exchange our vows before all the lords of the realm if you are willing that is i guess i'm willing i mean i really hope that she still becomes our vassal very well hopefully a little over a month from now we shall be wed maybe i won't give her any fiefs yet so we're gonna marry the princess and look at all the lords that pledge to us in the next video which i'll actually try to get out for you guys later today i have a lot of it recorded already so i should be able to do it. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.